Uh, good evening to all of you. I hope you all had a happy New Year's. I would tell you about my New Year's Eve, but I never kiss and tell. Um, you have to have been there or watch television if you're not one of the billion people that saw Diana and I and Lady Gaga, the three of us. Anyways, long story. Uh, Ashaka Desai um, is a wonderful person, as we all know, and uh, I'm just thrilled that she invited me, she and uh, Mike Evans, to celebrate the Asian Society's enormous contributions and honor uh, three extraordinary individuals. My good friend and a true American hero, John Whitehead. <laughs> Nobel Peace Prize laureate, Aung uh, San Suu Kyi. <laughs> and playwright, David Henry Wang. <laughs> now, since its founding, the Asia Society has remained a tireless advocate for building more effective partnerships between the United States and Asia. And as chairman of C40, a network of cities from around the world committed to addressing global climate change, I understand just how important these partnerships are. The social environmental challenges facing rapidly emerging cities in Asia are just too great to be solved by any one city or in fact any one nation. And the work of organizations like the Asia Society and C40 that promote openness, opportunity, and shared prosperity is, I think, more important today than ever. These ideals have been the trademark, as a matter of fact, of John Whitehead's incredible career. Uh, whether he was fighting for freedom on the beaches of Normandy or serving his nation at the highest levels of government as a Deputy Secretary of State for President Reagan or investing in the health and well-being of low-income communities, as he did when he created the Nancy Dickerson Whitehead Community Service Center for Homeless Youth in Washington, D.C., or helping our city and nation heal in the wake of 9-11 by leading the efforts to rebuild Lower Manhattan and establishing the 9-11 Memorial, which recently welcomed John, you'll be happy to know, its one million visitor. John. John has always believed we are stronger if we work together not just for American prosperity, but for the world's. I also want to congratulate the other two honorees. Aung San Suu Kyi deserves a lot of credit for the courageous stand she's taken in support of democracy and the strength that she has shown throughout her long struggle for justice. has really touched the hearts and stirred the imaginations of people across the globe. And David Henry Wang is not only one of our nation's most influential play playwrights, he has also been incredibly generous in mentoring other writers and supporting New York City's nonprofit theater community. And uh, he reminded me earlier, the last time we had our pictures taken, well, the two of us might not look like we're six feet tall. Some people would say we're both vertically challenged, but I will tell you we're the same height. But standing between us was a partially clad young lady, a model, who had to be, Henry, what, 60, 70 feet tall at least. It was one of the most hysterical pictures you've ever seen. Anyways, it's Henry's dedication, that heartful service that makes our city great. And it's organizations like the Asian Society that every day are tapping into the enormous commitment to move uh, our nations and cultures forward through partnerships shared by people around the world. And under uh, Vishaka's leadership, the Asian Society remains one of the city's leading promoters of mutual understanding between Asia and the United States. It is also one of our most important venues for exploring ancient, classical, and contemporary Asian art, as well as some of the most innovative and thought-provoking programs. And that's why the city continues to support the Asia Society. Public-private partnerships, as you know, are critical to supporting and maintaining the cultural organizations that do so much for our city. They improve our economy, enhance our quality of life, and help us attract this past year, happy to say, 50 million visitors from around the world. So everyone in this room is so important in the effort to help the Asia Society continue to grow. Uh, I just wanted to, on behalf of New York and uh, really the world, to say thank you for what you're doing. We look forward to continuing the partnerships, especially during these difficult economic times. And once again, congratulations to tonight's honorees and best wishes for much continued success. So now it's time to have a great evening, have a drink, have some food, sit back, relax, make some friends, and you are gonna enjoy the evening. 
Henrietta, thank you.